Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using C programming language. The program must accept the input integers R and C and it must accept two integer matrices matrix 1 and matrix 2 and finally we must print the sum of the matrix as output now let us pass our test case here there are two matrices of size 2 cross 3. So this is the matrix 1 and this is the matrix 2. Now let us calculate the sum. 9 plus 8, 17. 7 plus 5, 12. 4 plus 4, 8. 2 plus 2, 4. 8 plus 7, 15. And finally 6 plus 1, 7. This is the sum of the matrix 1 and matrix 2. We have to implement the function add to matrix which accepts the parameters int r comma c r and c pointers to the matrix matrix 1 and matrix 2 and it must return a double pointer for the new matrix which has the sum of matrix 1 and matrix 2 we have to implement the function add to matrix which accepts the parameter int r and c pointers to the matrix 1 and matrix 2 and return a double pointer for the new matrix which has the sum of matrix 1 and matrix 2. Now let us solve the program using C programming language. This is our main function which accepts two integer R and C and we are accepting the input matrix 1 and matrix 2. And we are assigning a double matrix called a result matrix and uh, assigning it to the function add two matrices which takes uh, four arguments R, C and matrix 1 and matrix 2 and we are just printing the matrix 1 and the matrix 2 and this is the print matrix function which is already called and explained now we have to do for this add to matrix function here it is a double pointer so let us have a double pointer int double pointer of result matrix which is equal to m lock of r times size of int because a matrix is of int type we are just allocating memory for the double pointer resultant result matrix where r is the number of rows now let us run a for loop for int 
rho is equal to 0, rho less than r, rho plus plus for int call equal to 0, call less than c, call plus plus. Now before iterating each column, we have to allocate a memory for the call in current row. So result matrix of row which is equal to mlloc of size of int times c. c is nothing but a number of columns and it is of int type. Let us change here also size of int int star times r because matrix is of here is int star type. So this resultant ma result matrix row which will allocate a memory for columns in each row. So result matrix of a row call equal to now here we are passing the argument pointer so let us consider it is a matrix and if you are writing pointer of matrix plus one plus matrix one of matrix one plus zero means it is one one means two two means three similarly so on it is considered as an integer array So let us implement this logic here. So int index is equal to 0. Result matrix of row call which is equal to pointer of matrix 1 plus index plus pointer of matrix 2 plus index. Now after calculating the sum, we have to increment the index finally. So index plus plus, finally we have to return the result matrix. This is the add to matrix function.